Hello everyone, welcome back to Lex the Lexus. This video has been long overdue, but today I am ranking all of the championship away kits for the 2021-22 seasons. Some of them are amazing and others are questionable. That is honestly the biggest spectrum that I've got to work with is the different types of away kits. If you guys enjoy what you see, please give the video a like. It does tremendously help the channel. Please subscribe if you are new around here. It does really help. And please subscribe to as many people as you can. All of that really helps. But without any further ado, let's start ranking every single championship club's away kits. We'll start off with Barnsley's kit. I'm really intrigued about the style that they got. I'm not too sure about the shade of green. They've got a green away kit. Green away kits for me can be a bit hit or miss. You can play them right if you've got the right shade of green. But to have that dark navy green colour for me, I don't really think really suits it. You've also got the red and white pinstripes as well, keeping to the traditional Barnsley colours. But I don't think it moulds well with green, to be honest with you. I do like the red tips on the sleeves. I do like the collar line too. And a tiny little touch that they got right in the bottom part of their shirt as well with the red ticks there. Is it better than the home kit? I'm going to say 5.5 out of 10. The more I look at it, the more I get a little bit put off with it, to be honest. Now we've got Birmingham's kit and I like the history they have got with it. They've got a yellow with a blue pinstripe design, but this is inspired by the shirt that they wore in the UA for Europa League back in 2011 when they qualified by finishing very, very well in the Premier League in 2010. The blue collar line looks good as well. The blue tips in the end of the sleeves look nice too. I even think the badge fits quite well with the pinstripes, but I don't get why they had to cut the pinstripes short to put the sponsor in a block design. I don't think that works at all. That's literally just one thing. If they got that right, then that would have been absolutely unbelievable. But with everything else, I like the contrast of colours. I'm going to give this a 6.5 out of 10, just a little bit below a 7. We now got Blackburn Rovers kit now. A bit similar to the home kit, they got a two half design where you've got one side one colour, one side the other colour. Of course, they had blue and white in their home kits. In the away kit, they had red and black, which for me looks brilliant. I really like this kit. I like the Macron badge is also white as well. I like the collar line being white, actually. I think it stands out quite well. I think the badge looks really, really nice as well. And just the subtle patterns as well, including the Lancashire Rose, which I was a big fan of in their home kit. And I think even in the away kit with a black background, I actually would dare say it looks even better. I'm a really big fan of this kit. I like the contrast of colours. I think red and black work well together. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. I'm really impressed with that shirt. We have an amazing shirt and then we have Blackpool shirt, which I don't know how to comment on it. I don't think the sponsor looks good on it. It's a white shirt with orange zigzags on it. I mean, it's not as messy as it was in their home kit. I do like the really bold orange ticks, you know, around in their collar line, but also the tips of their sleeves. But that's pretty much the only bit I like in it. The sponsor looks out of place. The contrast of colours, I'm not too sure with as well. It might grow on me, but as of now, I think I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I'm a bit disappointed. Now we have Bournemouth's kits, which I really like what they've gone for here. I know it might look simple for some. You, you, you would look at it as a white kit, but I think the badge... Fits well with that white background as well. The sponsor doesn't look awful there. The collar line might grow on me. I'm not too sure on it, but I think it will grow on me. What I really like though is what design they have in the sleeves. I actually think those stripes between black and red, I think really go on well and actually blend well with the shirt too. It could be seen as a bit simplistic, but for me, I think it's simple but effective. I would say a respectable 7 out of 10. Pretty nice kit, that. So if I'm talking about a simplistic kit, we then move on to Bristol City's kit. Now, a big theme of their away kits and their fur kits in general this year is that 
they are all water colored that was the whole point of their trailer and it really just kind of shows that rippling water like effect onto the shirt as well it really actually brings something a little bit new to the club which you know it's good to see something new about it but the actual ripple effect i'm talking about is actually a really good bit of history the colorful graphic actually draws inspiration from the houses in totterdon which i actually think is a really really nice touch They've got a quote, one for the Bristol City is also printed right in the inner back hem of the jersey too. And the BCFC initials also appear on the upper back. So there's very subtle touches, which I actually think looks really, really good on the kit. I just don't like the sponsor and I don't like that the logo is right in the middle of the shirt. For that reason, I'm going to have to say a six. The concept itself gets at least an eight or a nine out of ten. But other features, including the logo being in the middle, for me, really knock it down. Now you've got Cardiff's kit. Now, if you remembered, Cardiff's home kit was one of the lowest score I got, honestly. That kit still to this day. For just how bland it is, you know, it's not a nice kit for me to look at. And unfortunately, they've not really covered themselves in glory here. They've got horizontal pinstripes, as you may say, with their show. A little bit of a unique feature there. The sponsor, you know, doesn't actually get in the way of it. But what is that colour? Like, if you're going to have a pink kit, have it like Derby's third kit from last year. That shade of pink. That shade of pink for me works. It stands out. It's easy on the eye. With this one, it's a lighter shade, a bit of a salmon coloured pink. It's almost like a pink, you know, if you were to mix red and white clothes in your washing machine by accident. And that is the result you get. I would almost say if this was a white shirt, it actually probably would look better, to be honest. So for me, this shirt is a washing machine disaster. And for me, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. We've now got Coventry's kit. Now, a bit similarly to Blackburn, they've got like the two half design that they've taken to this kit. But if you're looking at a shirt that has a hidden message and a bit of history... Coventry may have had just about the most. So it has blue and pink hearts, which actually dates back to a Coventry shirt from 1889, which is an incredible bit of history. In fact, it actually goes back to a shirt when they were originally called Singers FC. And what's even cleverer as well, there is a reference of Singers FC inside the waist hem. It includes the year it was worn on the neck tape, and it has the words of while we sing together inside the neck. I think that is absolutely ingenious to incorporate that. I'm just not too sure with the blend of colours. That's literally just the only thing I'm not too sure with. I think it feels like maybe a different shade of blue could work a bit better. But I understand that they have to go back to their history. So I can't knock them too heavily on that. But for me, still one of the best kits I've seen so far. Just like their home kit, I love it. 8 out of 10. We now have Darby's Away kit. Now, I remember Darby's Away kit last year been very disappointing and for me really preferring their third kit a lot more now this kit this year i won't lie i don't know what to think there's so many mixed opinions for what i've seen in this kit and i'm gonna go on to the side which i think supports this kit now i do like this sort of pattern work they've got in their kit i think it's a very unique feature i like that derby have tried just something different, just something that looks really good on the eye. Now, the only thing I'm just not too sure about is that shade of blue. The lighter shade of blue, I just, I'm not too sure on it, to be honest with you. But what I will say, I like the design they've got on the sleeve signs as well, with the darker shade of blue, and then you've got that little white stripe from it, and then you cut to the actual colour of the kit. I think that looks really, really nice. Sponsor looks good in it as well. Logo and badge looks great. I think might actually be a little bit better than Coventry's, but not by much. I'm going to say 8.5 out of 10. It doesn't quite squeak a 9. I probably would have changed a couple of things in it. Maybe a darker shade of blue. Now we have Fulham's kit. Now, I do tend to like black away kits a lot. And I like that they've got a black away kit there. Just not too sure on the sponsor, to be honest. But I do like the sort of kind of grading effect that you could just kind of subtly see in that kit too. It's something different, and I really, really like it. I like they've not gone for the pinstripes there. I actually think it looks much better having this design. For me, a bit simplistic, 
So I would probably give it the same grade as I gave Bournemouth Simplistic Kit. 7 out of 10. Respectable score there. I like that film. Haven't done too much to elaborate on it. I think keeping it simple was definitely key based on the atrocity we saw of their home kit. Now we have Huddersfield's Away kit. Now this kit has got a terrific message behind it. It was actually modelled by members of the NHS who have connections to Huddersfield. That, for me, I've got to give Huddersfield a lot of plaudits for that. It's brilliant that they've acknowledged the work of the NHS workers in a way that they're actually trusting them to model their away kit. And I've got to say, I kind of like it. I really, really do. You've got an away jersey with a navy blue design with white logos there. Uh, you've got the left side of the shirt with a really unique graphic stripe. Now, we've had a couple of ones that have a seatbelt effect. This one doesn't actually do it down as a seatbelt effect. It stands out, to be honest with you. My only little complaint really is that I actually want that design a little bit more in the kit. I think it just takes too small of an area. If anything, if the sponsor wasn't so big enough that it would clash with the stripe, I think it looked better, to be honest. It's not perfect, I'm going to say that, but for me, a really good effort there. I'm going to give that one an 8 out of 10. I really like it. We now go to Hull City's Away kit, and this is how you do it. I mean, where do I begin? I love it. I, I, I can't get my eyes around it. I've never seen a kit look so beautiful, so neat, and so effective too. The contrast of grey, of black there. The sponsor actually links in well perfectly with the lines that they've got there. The badge, the change of colour in the badge looks great as well. Honestly, I felt like if you can wear this shirt like anywhere you can go and really can rock it out and not just in a football pitch, you'll be doing well to get a fantastic shirt. And for me, even if this was not football, I'd wear that shirt. It looks absolutely unbelievable. Collar line, the sleeve line, you know, you could say it was a bit simple uh, what they did there, but overall, I just, I, I, I can't get my head around it. It's a fantastic kit, brilliant design, contrast spot on, sponsor doesn't ruin it, badge is brilliant, 10 out of 10. I mean it, and I think that's the only kit I'm ever going to give a 10 out of 10 for. I've just never seen anything so beautiful. So for me, I've got to acknowledge how fair play to them. You have really done yourselves proud there, Umbro. And then for something that looks a little bit classy and simple, we've got Luton's drawing which for me looks like it's based on a kid's drawing. But you could argue it actually looks quite good. It just does look like a kid has drawn it, to be honest with you. Even with the sponsor of it being Star Platforms, you can see maybe it's like a kid that likes aliens and he's drawn an alien invasion all over this kit. That is literally just what I see with this kit. There's no distinct pattern, which does make it unique. The colours as well, orange, blue, navy blue, black. It's very unique. And I think that looks fantastic. Even with the badge, I actually don't think it really looks out of place there. Umbro, you've done yourself really well in justice with your away kits. To grade this, oh, it's not good as Hulls. But um, I'm going to give it an 8. Only reason is just, I do think maybe the mix of colours is just, I don't know. I'm not too sure on it. I think this kit will grow on me a bit. So 8 for me. Could be a 9 or 9.5 by the end of the season. Now we go to Middlesbrough shirt. Now I remembered I really praised their shirt based on the time breach that they got on their shirt. And just the overall pattern work that they got on it. This for me seems a bit simplistic. You would have already known that green kits for me mm, could be hit or miss. And for me this shade of green I'm not really really digging at the moment. For me a bit too simplistic. The badge looks kind of nice in that gold shade. But that's pretty much the only thing that stands out. And if that's the case, then i got to say it was quite lazy work, sadly. So I'm going to give that one 5 out of 10. Maybe just slightly edges Cardis one, because at least it looks a little bit nicer to look at. Now, if you knew me, you would have known that I really liked Mirwell's home kit. The dark navy blue with the gold, for me, looked like a completely perfect kit. And they've not really disappointed me once again with their away kit either. I like the contrast of the dark navy blue with white this time. I think there's a great contrast with their home and their away kit. I have seen them wear their away kit already. And for me, I think it looks really, really nice from when I've seen it on TV. Husky chocolate doesn't look out of place. And for rare few times where the sponsor for me doesn't actually ruin the kit. In fact, almost enhances it, which I think is very difficult to do. Macron looks nice. 
the badge itself looks nice. Don't know about the collar. That's literally just the one thing I'm teetering on whether I'm going to give it a 9 or not. But uh, it's going to be another one which I think may grow me. Um, but I'm not too sure with the collar. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a um, 8 out of 10 again. I'm giving a load of 8s out today because to be fair, a lot of these kits are absolutely brilliant. You know, some of them are doing fantastically well. There's just only one or two things I might complain about and that's how I grade my score. So yeah, another 8 out of 10 for me. We've now got Nottingham Forest's kit. Now, very, very unique to tell you the truth. Not only from the kind of design, but the colour scheme as well. So you've got a dark navy blue kit with the red badge and the red badge of the make. But look at that pink grading effect they've got at the side. I've not seen a single kit do something like this before. I think that contrast really stands out. A bit similar with Huddersfield's one. I just wish it took a little bit more of a kit. Because I think... You know, it leaves me wanting a bit more, but maybe that's what they're going for. I like this kit. I remember not really liking their away kit last year. So for me, this has got to be a 9 out of 10. I love it. I really like the pink design. I like the pattern work, the contrast of colours. I think it looks fantastic. Now we've got Peterborough's kit. Now people would say they look pretty similar for Nottingham Forest kit and Peterborough's kit. For me, Peterborough's kit is a little bit different, but for me... Whilst I felt Nottingham Forest's didn't really quite have enough, you know, going forward with its design, for me, Peterborough have overdone it. It's about, for me, the right balance between having something really unique and different, but also keeping to tradition. And I think Peterborough have just gone really flashy with the design, a bit similar to what I feel about Luton's kit. And I think it just takes away, I just don't think... The sponsor with that black outline with their words. I don't think that looks really nice with the pink, to be honest. I like the badge that they changed the colour of that. Puma, I don't think I've done too bad of an effort there. I even like the pink in the sleeve lines too. I just think the balance is not quite there. I mean, that's my opinion. You can have a different opinion about this kit. For me, not as good as Nautical Forest's kit, but still a good effort. 7 out of 10 for me. From the creativity of Peterborough and Nautical Forest's kit... We now have Preston's away kit next to rank. What on earth is it? I mean, I'm sorry. I don't get any part of the kit. Green kit. And you know, I'm not a big fan of green. The sponsor looks out of place with it. No pattern work or design on the shirt. The only little pattern we have is from the yellow ticks that you have near the shoulder line. It doesn't even cover the whole shoulder line. It covers half of it, which looks very bizarre. And then I don't even get the sort of shape, you know, that you keep it green in the under part of the sleeve line. Then you keep the shoulder line like that. It's almost like you're wearing a green apron over a yellow top. And I don't get that sort of concept, to be honest with you. Yellow collar might be the only thing I like in that kit. So for that, I gotta have to say a 2 out of 10. If the collar wasn't yellow or if they just did a green collar, it might have even been a 1. But the fact they've actually done something with the collar and made it yellow a bit more different 2 out of 10 but it's not a great score isn't it from that atrocity we then go to queen's park rangers kit and once again i've got a quote again this is how you do it i love it i really like the black charcoal hoops that they've got in there i really really like the subtle uh, watermark pattern there and that design the contrast with the slightly lighter shade of blue compared to the darker shade of black I really like that design. I like their collar line. I like what we've got in the back of their shirt too. And the gold as well. The gold from their sponsor. The gold from the kit. The gold from Area as well. Looks really, really nice. It moulds well together. And this is when, when you mix your colours right and you get the blend right, it can look absolutely amazing. So for me, oh, not quite perfection. I probably would have changed one or two things. 9.5 out of 10. The closest for me that's going to get me excited for the way kit, likewise with Hull. Now, we have Reading's kit. Now, this one, I think, has got a very differing stages of opinion. Some people really, really like this kit. Me, on the other hand, I'm not too sure, to be honest, because it's almost like it's trying to do too many different things at once. And I think if you're going to do something, stick to one design and then enhance it. You know, they've got this kind of pinstripe design that they've got on the tips of the sleeves and the collar line. 
Then they've got this rucksack effect, which I'm going to call it, when you've got the two little um, blue stripes there. I'm calling it a rucksack because honestly, when you've got that there, it's like you're wearing a rucksack there. And then they've got no pattern work on the yellow design as well. Uh, you know what? That for me is a bit of a letdown. I won't lie. I mean, people may disagree and that's completely fine. Could be another one that grows on me, but as of now, 6 out of 10. It's got to be a 6 out of 10. I just think they focus too much on areas they didn't really need to focus on. I think if they prioritise different areas of the kit, I think it looked much nicer than this. Shelf United's kit now, of course, is added as so you're going to get the three white lines on the shoulder line there. The pattern work that they got on there, of course, they've got the seatbelt effect with grey, starting from left to right this time, which is interesting. Obviously, in other seatbelt effects, we started from right to left, which is bizarre. But for me, I don't think this one is actually too bad because it's not using any sharp contrasting patterns which is taking the attention away from the kit. I think it's a rather neat kit to be honest with you and of course I've already said I do like a good black kit. For me, I want a little bit more going on there so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I think if it just did a little bit more it would have even pushed a little bit higher but overall I've been pretty impressed. Now Stokes kit. Now obviously another green kit. I like this shade of green a little bit more than the other shades of green that we've got. I just don't know about the pinstripes, to be honest. I just don't know what they bring to the kit. I don't really think it elevates it. Also, I think the sponsor doesn't really suit it either. This kit, if you took away the pinstripes and can do something different with it, I think could even take it to a next level. But pinstripes for me, a bit simplistic, so... Ah, oh, you know what? It's going to be a 5 out of 10. I think the pinstripes, I just don't think work. And that's my opinion. You can disagree with it if you like. But for me, if I didn't have the pinstripes, I think it would have been up there. We end with two black kits. Let's start with Swansea's first. I love this kit. I really do. I like the little effect that they've got on the sleeves lines of black, white, and then black there. I like it that they carried it to the collar line as well. I love the sort of pattern work they've got on the black part and the main part of their kit as well. Making sure that the Joma is orange as well, I actually think doesn't look too bad either. Could look a little bit out of place, but I don't think it ruins it. The badge looks really good. And one thing I wanted to really say about Swansea, what they've done this year, to be fair to them, they've made sure the kit would actually mold well with their temporary change of badge design, which I think they've done spectacularly well with. For me, up there, alongside with Queensborough Rangers, I think a 9.5 out of 10 for me. And now we have West Brom's kit. Now, I remembered doing their home kit, not really liking it. I did like the message behind it, but I didn't really like the design. I do prefer this design more. I do think red and black work well together. And I do like that the red area is in a darker shade of black because I think red and grey looks quite messy, to be honest. But I think putting... That red design there really works. I like the red in the tips of the sleeves. I like the checkered effect they've got. But also, I like the kind of lines they've got cutting diagonally from that checkered design too. I think it looks really unique. It's different. And I think it's going to get an 8.5. So, that's me ranking all the Championship Away kits. If I had to pick a favourite, it would have to be Hull's kit. It's really up there for me. I think Queen's Park Rangers' kit gets a close second. And to pick the worst kit for me would have to be Preston's away kit. Although I wasn't really impressed with Cardiff's away kit either. So that's me ranking all the kits. Let me know what kits are your favourite. And let me know how you think your club has done your away kits this year in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like what you see, please give a video a like. It just tremendously help the channel. Please subscribe if you're new. It does really help the channel. And please share this channel to as many people as you can. All of that really helps. But that wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are legendary for starting the end of this video. And as always, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care.